It was on shark skin. Very interesting. An editorial commentary says, this month, Scientific American has an article on how sharks sense electric fields to help them locate prey. A shark snout contains hundreds of ampullae of Lorenzini. That's named after a man in the 17th century, I believe. These receptor arrays communicate data to the shark's brain by firing nerve pulses. The really interesting thing about this is that as the electric field's intensity and polarity change, the firing increases what engineers call pulse frequency modulation. The exciting thing is that research data shows that sharks can typically sense a field as low as one microvolt and perhaps as low as 15 nanovolts. Nano is 10 to the minus ninth power across one centimeter. Commentator says, let's be humble. Living organisms can do things that our technology cannot even begin to approach. Pretty interesting. Just this past month in Electronic Engineering Times, this article comes, strong as steel plastic is also cellophane thin. An engineering professor at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor claims to have invented a brick and mortar technique that mimics the way oysters embed calcium carbonate into an organic matrix to create seashells, one of the strongest materials found in nature. The result is a material as strong as steel, but ultra thin and transparent. Good stuff. So good, they've got contracts with the Office of Naval Research for body armor, Air Force for wings for unmanned aerial vehicles. What I see from an engineering perspective is something very different from what atheists see. Atheists are telling you that all this, what appears to be intelligent design in nature, is an accident. If you read their textbooks, what they will say is, surely this is not the best way to design stuff. But the engineers of the world are looking out and saying, this is great stuff. We're going to imitate it because it's done far superior to anything by the words you saw published in the E Times anything that we've got. Testimony I see that God designed the world. It's not an accident. It's superior intelligence. So when you look around and you see that we're not an accident, that God designed us, God created us, he knows what we need. He knows how we tick. And when God tells us that we've got a problem with sin, and he's got the cure. He gave his son that we might be purchased back. He values us enough. He loves the world enough that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him might have eternal life. The blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you from your sins. If you'll trust in him, trust in God and obey him. And so we ask you tonight, do you know about God? Do you know about the Savior of mankind? Do you know that God created you? He knows what's good for you. Will you trust in him? Will you obey him? Take his hand and obey him in baptism. Take his hand and follow him. We offer this invitation tonight. If you would come, if, you, if we can help you in any way while we sing.